the last two hours top stories that you guys think should be uh, recapped and then i'm going to plow right into the public takeover of our children by the state this is this is incredible on so many fronts we're going to break down the top story red link from infowars.com well you know alex it, it seems like michigan is an area where they really br are bringing in the police state total control we've seen them go in and execute uh free range Hogs in uh, in Michigan, I sh not hogs. I mean, they're they're domestically. These are these are farmers raising a uh, a strain of uh, pork. These are domesticated hogs being killed because the strain is seen uh, by exactly. their Bureau of Land Management in the state right. uh, as one that is basically uh, seen as a feral variant, even though it's the exact same genetics as a regular domesticated European crossbred uh, hybrid hog. Exactly, and and cracking down on many farms there now, of course. It doesn't really come as any surprise that it's Michigan, again, that is coming after the adolescents. Just enacting this Michigan medical records law for all children, 12 to 17, you take them for any medical appointment, and they say there's no way to opt out of this. They're going to take your children away, and they're going to interview them to uh, give them information about uh, sexual uh, items and, and probably to pry into your family. A lot of times that takes a, a direction in these discussions where they might come back and misconstrue something that's innocent and come after the parents to try to take their children away. This is something we're seeing in Michigan, and yet at the same time, in Tennessee, we see a sheriff who's being investigated, actually not investigated, there's, there's a journalist who thinks there's something going on in his prison, asked for a Freedom of Information request, and then he gets investigated by this sheriff, intimidated. So that's what we're really seeing everywhere. People realize this total surveillance state where we have no privacy, uh, where we have everything in our life examined under a microscope, but we can't get any information from this government. And at the same time, the, uh, the VA uh, Association Authority is having veterans dying on lists waiting to get medical care. We and see that, that 18 and of them died in just Phoenix. And that ties into what we were talking about earlier, people on lists being rejected care. But beyond that, with the private screenings of these 17-year-old girls and below, they go in, and we were talking to Dr. Group earlier, it's no different than a really, really evil used car dealership where they're yes. putting these people on these medications, not just to make a profit, even though the government and the pharmaceutical companies are funding all the studies that say all Americans are mentally ill, but well, that's the new freedom initiative. What we have is a corporate globalist government that's anti-human with no special interest group for the general public for our basic rights that are making it the law that we buy their products and their services that are basically slavery. That's what Obamacare is, is literal predominant foreign banks that own the insurance companies getting a multi-thousand page, 13,000 pages of rider bill passed that says they can triple, quadruple your prices, cut your care, force you to buy it, raise taxes on poor people, and this is hailed as liberal because the front man of it is supposedly black. Now, I want to shift gears when we come back from the break into the actual story itself because it's one of those type stories that's a Rosetta Stone into every major angle that we've been talking about that people should become totally outraged about. It's red linked on Infowars.com. New medical law mandates private conversations with child before they visit doctor. And of course, this is breaking out of several states, Michigan among them. But as soon as I read this early this morning, when Paul Watson posted it about 7 a.m., I went, wait a minute. This isn't just the limited tip we got out of Michigan and the confirmation they're posting signs saying we're going to call your kids aside and have a secret conversation with them when you bring them in for their checkup. Just training you that the state takes your kids away like the TSA does. This is beyond medical tyranny, beyond state-run medical systems. This is going on all over the country and is a federal mandate. And so I Googled it today. And sure enough, you can go back six years at least, doctors calling kids over and asking about mommy and daddy's guns. And they're teaching psychologists, psychiatrists that guns might as well be illegal, that any parent that owns guns is mentally ill. So this is the tyranny. This is state-run medicine, and it must be rebelled against at every level. Doctors and pediatricians and clinic workers that are against it need to speak out because this is turning them into government spy social workers when the government has the history of the criminal testing, the criminal actions, six to seven times more likely to be abused in government care as a child than any other group. Look it up. So we're going to break it all down straight ahead on this Friday roundtable worldwide transmission. I'm coming to you from Texas, the crew's from Texas. 
reporters from Arizona, so much more. We are InfoWars. InfoWars.com because there is a war on for your mind. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Clean if you think I'll sit around, the government says, as the world goes by, you're thinking like a fool because all it takes is you and I. Out there is a world of slaves to be taken over and told what to do and taught they're little and powerless. And that's what we'll do at the New World Order. Well, if they think that I'm going to sit around while they enslave humanity, they've got another thing coming. Alex Jones here live, uh, riding shotgun with me, of course, for David Knight, Anthony Gucciardi, another great host of InfoWars Nightly News. Now, I remember this started really decades ago, but it was creeping, and they would back off every time it happened. But you would have pediatricians, psychologists, school nurses, you name it, call the SWAT team on dad because he had a gun case. And, you know, the 13-year-old from a rural community would move into the city and tell their new school counselor, I actually remember covering this like 15 years ago, it was a real case, that, no, I'm allowed to get in and get the guns. And so a SWAT team was called. But it was totally legal and lawful for a 13-year-old trained with firearms to get into the firearms case. They'd been trained how to use them. I mean, I grew up like that. But it... It goes to the mentality of brainwashing the public, as the Attorney General Eric Holder said, against guns. To where there is the perception that you own guns, you must be a criminal. Now, that's what's going on. We actually know what pediatricians, what medical doctors, what dentists, what oral surgeons, what orthodontists are being recruited to do. Because it's been in the news. And my father, uh, last year, Homeland Security tried to recruit him. And then he asked around, and every dentist he knew had been either visited at their offices or at their homes by DHS. And it was to be political officers. It was, well, what do you mean? I mean, I'd call the police anyways if a patient was saying something criminal that they were planning to do. I have a responsibility to do that. And they say, no, no, no. There's no more uh, patient doctor privilege on stuff that isn't even illegal, you have a duty to tell us if they don't like the government or they talk bad about the IRS. And my dad thought they were trying to set him up. And he said, what do you think I ought to do? And I said, no, go ahead and start talking to him and talk to other dentists to find out more. And he found out, no, they didn't even know that David Jones was my dad, this longtime patient of his with the DHS, who was playing spy. They didn't even know that, and they had already gone to Dr. King in his office and others that same week. So he called other dentists he knew, and they said, no, we're getting visits, sometimes by FBI agents at their homes. So you have a total recruitment, like the Stasi would do in East Germany. I mean, this is so authoritarian, it's so over the top. Two days ago, Holder announced Homeland Security offices in every small town and big city looking for homegrown terrorists, pre-crime. So you see an article at InfoWars.com like new medical law mandates private conversations with child before every doctor visit, parental authority being eviscerated by the state. And this gets into what's happening uh, in Michigan. And Christine Duffy brought her 17-year-old daughter to the physician's office for a minor foot injury. She was told the new medical access law required a nurse to have a private conversation with her child. Another example of parental authorities being eviscerated by the state. Folks, they do this to five-year-olds. I've had three children with a doctor I know in North Austin at a nice hospital. Now, she's a listener and a great lady. Didn't matter. Every time we get called in, the nurse says, will you bring this file downstairs, Mr. Jones? And, and, and then when I go downstairs, she says, you know, do you have enough money? Does he beat you? And they're not telling my wife all this is happening. It's being put in a computer database where if she says they don't have enough money, the kids are being taken. Okay? You're not being told you have a right to remain silent. Everything will, you know, be used against you in a court of law. They've gotten rid of Miranda. Supreme Court ruled eight years ago. And again, the state acts like it's doing all this to take care of us. This is the same government caught doing thousands and thousands of secret tests, killing thousands of people per test in some cases, microwaving, radiating foster kids, giving black people syphilis just a few years ago, turning the oxygen off to babies. Okay, this is the criminal globalist. It's not like they're doing this and being authoritarian for our own good. That's always the excuse. No, it's just like in every other case. It's because they want total power. Now, the good news is the average doctor, the average cop, the average social worker isn't even bad yet. But under centralization, 
They're bringing in the computerized orders to them where they follow forms where they don't have any discretion. They're like robots, biological robots that come out and enforce all this. We're going to break it down and tie it into third world countries where it's already being done as well. Like India, you name it. It's all coming up. This is so We're key. on the march. The